Sani Bonani, Molweni, Dumelang, who handed. Hello, hello everyone at home. My name is Mabel and I am here to celebrate World Real Out Day with you. This is a very exciting day, especially because it's the 10th year that Nali Bali is reading aloud with South Africa. And in the past years, we've been able to get 3 million children read to. But now, this year, we're changing it a bit and we are including families. And we want everyone to come along and to read along the families because we believe that families who read together flourish together. Um, children Statistics show that children who are read to sustainably are able to perform better and have more empathetic skills. So this year, I wrote this story and it's called A Party at the Park as you can see. And this story is especially exciting because it is Pan-African. So it's got some Pan-African characters in here and you will learn and see who they are. And it's got some fun activities and things that you can do with your children. So show your um, making skills. I did this drum. This is a little drum made from tin. Tin, just remember that. It's gonna be important in the story. And you can drum with it. And I did another one. This one was done with an old plant, old pot planter. And this is some plastic and wool, and I drew it. It's a very fun activity to do with your kids. And a shaker. This is a tube. I put some rice in it, and I put some music. So these are things that you can do with your children. You, if you could, if you have done it already, that's great because you'll be able to play with me. Once we are done, if you haven't, you can. Get together with your friends and your family and your sister and your brother and get going, you know, get creative, get your juices flowing. So now tell me, what language do you speak? I am interested. How do you say hello in your home language? Because this book is available in every single one of the 11 South African official languages. And to top it all off, it's also available in Portuguese, in French, Swahili, Lingala, Shona, and Chichewa. So this story covers everyone. If you know anyone who speaks any of those languages who might not know about this, message them. Tell them to tune in. The more, the merrier. And if they want to access the story, they can go to www.nalibali.org and you can get the download the story for free, Mahala. Or you can WhatsApp WRAD to 060-044-2254. And that's a South African number. So if you're not in South Africa, just put 27 at the beginning and you'll be able to access it. And so access the story, get it, take pictures, share them with us. We want to see what you are doing. We want to see this love of reading going everywhere. And if you do do that, then please share them with us and hashtag Nalipali WRAD22 so that we can see it and we can share it. And we just want to get this love of reading as far as possible because reading aloud matters and our stories matter. So let me start. So the story that I am reading is called A Party at the Park. And I'm going to be reading from this. I downloaded the PDF from the website and I printed it so that I could be able to read it and just show you the beautiful pictures. So this begins at home. As you can see over here, I, do, I put a nice big picture for you. So there you can see Josh over here and that is Neil and that is Hope and that is Gogo. As you can see, they're sitting around the radio that means Gogo's listening to radio, right? What's your favorite radio station? What do you listen to in radio? Let us know. So in the comment section, if you have any stories, if you want to share anything, if you have any questions, let us know. We want to hear from you because reading is all about sharing. So let me begin. Neo, Josh, and Hope were all at Gogo's house. Remember this picture? They were talking and laughing loudly. Mm. So Granny's listening, right? The radio. So she, what is she going to say? 
this shh says Gogo. I can't hear what they're saying on the radio. Come, 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 come. Let's all listen to my favorite show. Everyone kept quiet and listened. Suddenly, they heard the announcer mention the name of their park. What's the name of your park in your neighborhood? Wow, our park is famous, said Neil. And Tiniso, also known as Tin, will be putting on a show at the park this afternoon with the We Can Band. Artists from Zimbabwe, Nigeria, and Malawi will also be performing. Everyone is welcome to join the party, said the announcer. Gogo, said Neil. Did you hear that? They said everyone is welcome. May we please go? May we please, 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 please go? So do you think Gogo's going to say yes? Gogo looked at Neil and smiled. If Josh and Hope are allowed to go, then you may go too, she said. Very wise, Gogo. Josh and Hope were out the door as quick as a flash to ask their parents for permission to join the party at the park. When they came back to fetch Neo, Hope told Gogo that Bella and her mom would be going too. Okay, 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 off you go. Stay close together, said Gogo. At the park, Neo saw Bella and her mom, and even Nudo had come along. So you can see that the people who are coming to the park, see the sign says, come join our party. And can you see Nudo? Noodle is a dog. I think everyone from our town is here, said Neo, and some new people too. Listen, said Josh. Are some people speaking French? We, mm, we, oui, oui, said Hope, which just means yes in French. And I can hear Chichewa and Shona too. Neo grabbed Hope's arm. Look, he said, Tin's on stage. But where is the weekend band? Before Hope could answer, Tin stepped up to the microphone. <coughs> Let me see. I have my microphone. I'm going to use this as a microphone. Do you see anything as a microphone? So this is Tin. <coughs> Hello, she said. Are you ready to start the party? Yeah, oh yes, shouted the crowd. Tin started to play her guitar. Repeat after me, she said, as she started singing. Left foot back, left foot back, sang the crowd. Right foot back, sang Tin. Right foot back, sang the crowd. Josh and Hope were smiling and singing along, but Neo was still looking around. So you can see there, that is Tin, she's singing. And there's Neil, he's looking around. He's wondering, where is this band? Come on, everyone, shouted Tin. Let's celebrate. Or do you need the weekend band to help you? Yeah, boy, yes, shouted the crowd. Tin looked around. Hmm, where is the band? Uh oh, I don't see them anywhere. It's not a party without a band. I'm going to need some help. Only a team can save this dream, Tin said. First, I'm going to need two drummers. No one had their hopes. Hands up first. As they climbed to the stage, Tin took them to four large coffee tins with plastic lids. What do you think this is? The tins were decorated with brightly colored paper and buttons. There were also drumsticks for Neo and Hope to use. So they probably had drums like this. Oops. They had drums like this. Maybe a drumstick. No, actually, I've got a drumstick. I just want a drumstick. It's a pencil with wool, but it's a drumstick. Now, we need a shaker, said Tin. Josh, pick Josh, shouted Nero. Is there Josh out there? Where is Josh? Let's get him here, laughed Tin. Josh put up his hand and two men lifted his wheelchair onto the stage. 
Welcome, Josh, said Tin. Try out these two shakers. The shakers like That's great, said Tin. Now let the but before she could finish that noise. There was a loud clanging noise. Everyone looked around to see what it could be. The noodle ran across the stage, dragging tins tied together with string behind him. The chimes, shouted Tin. I thought I'd lost them. Bella ran towards the stage. Noodle, she called. Noodle ran to Bella. The tins clanging noisily behind him. <laughs> it's fine, said Tin laughing. I think Noodle wants to be part of the weekend band. And I think he wants you to join us too, she said, pointing at Bella. Tin helped Bella onto the stage, and together they untangled the tin chimes from around Noodle's body. Then Bella and Noodle went and stood next to Nero, Hope, and Josh. Tin strapped her guitar and said, Let the music begin! As Tin pointed at Nero and Hope, they beat their drums. Then Tin sang, left foot back, and pointed at the crowd. Left foot back, sang the crowd. Next, Tin pointed at Josh, and he shook his shakers in time to the beat. Tin pointed at Bella. The row of tins chimed beautifully as Bella swung them against each other. Noodle barked excitedly. Woof! Woof! Soon the party was in full swing. Tin sang her songs while Nero, Hope, Josh, and Bella played along. And Noodle barked every now and then just to join in too. And then the other artists each sang a song from their country. The crowd cheered and clapped. They loved the show. You see, said Tin to the weekend band. This little team saved the dream. Thanks to the four of you and Noodle. Everyone enjoyed a wonderful party. And that's the end of the party at the park. So what instrument would you play if you're home? Would you be the shaker, the chimes, or the drum with a drumstick? Which one would you play? And let us know. And if you get to share the story with your little ones, remember to take photos or videos and share them on, with us on Facebook or Instagram. And remember, it's hashtag NaliBaliWRAD22. And if you, remember, you can, if you want to get the story, if you don't have the story, you can go to NaliBali.org and pledge. And you get it, download the story in the language of your choice. Or you can WhatsApp WRAD to 060-044-2254. And remember, World Read Aloud Day is every day. You can just keep it going. Every day, just read a story. You can read the same story. You can read the same story 20 million times. All that matters is that our children and you enjoy reading. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for your comments. You guys are beautiful. Thank you. Bye. Oh